And so people want to try to apply the scriptures to everybody else in the whole wide world. They do not apply to everybody else in the whole wide world. It only applies to Israel. Verse 8, wherein he hath abound toward us in all wisdom and prudence. The epistle is to Israel, to Israelites, <clears throat> wherein he hath abound toward us, Israel, in all wisdom and prudence. Talk about Jesus, man. <laughs> I thought I was disconnected. Sometimes technology, so if I get good disconnected, I, I'll pick it up where I left off. Okay, verse 9, uh, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 9. Having made known unto us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure which he hath purposed in himself. So Jesus has made known unto us the mystery of his will. <clears throat> and it's a mystery. But he says it's only given to you that believe. Everybody else that don't believe, you don't know what this mystery is. You don't understand it. It's given to Israel. But Israel have to believe. If you don't believe, then you won't understand the mystery. And so that's our problem. God said he was going to scatter us, which he did. He said he was going to destroy us, which he did. He said he was going to come and gather us and wake us up, which he's doing. But some of you don't want to believe. You don't want to accept that you Israel, you're stiff-necked. We've always been stiff-necked. You didn't. We didn't want a lot of us didn't want to believe that Jesus was the Son of God, the Messiah, and we still stiff neck. Now we don't want to believe that we're Israel. I'm telling you, you Israel. I ain't no Israel. I ain't no Hebrew Israelite. <laughs> okay, if you don't want to believe it, then don't believe it. I'm just talking to the ones that believe. Having made known unto us the mystery of his will. What well, is the mystery of his will? That we are his chosen people, God's chosen people, Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham. He chose us from the foundation of the world. We are God's chosen people according to his good pleasure, which he had purpose in himself. God chose Israel. We didn't choose ourselves. He chose us. We didn't say, oh, choose us. No, he chose us according to his good pleasure, which he had purpose in himself. He said, oh, I'm choosing y'all. He said, Abraham, come here. You the man. You the one. I just chose you. You it. <laughs> That's what happened out of all the people of the earth. That's who he's still dealing with, Israel. And that's who he's coming back for. Verse 10, 